Are you an Amazon seller and you have gotten pricing alerts or even suspended for price gouging? Have you been shopping on Amazon and noticed your go-to shampoo is twice the price or your favorite seasoning is one and a half times the price? We are here to talk about price gouging and provide some insight on how to prevent getting suspended while the Amazon pricing remains very volatile on tens and thousands of listings. Amazon regularly monitors the price of items on their marketplace, including shipping costs, and compares them with other prices available to their customers. If they see pricing practices on a marketplace offer that harms customers' trust, Amazon can remove the buy box, remove the offer, and in serious or repeated cases, suspend or terminate your selling account. Now we're gonna talk a little bit about some of the methods to ensure you're not price gouging and what to do if you get some pricing alerts on Amazon. So for myself, there's a few different things I look at. One is the fact that most states consider a 10% increase in essential products during a pandemic price gouging. So we make sure to look at the average 180 days of that ASIN to ensure that the price is in that range. But we don't only look on Amazon, we also look at other retail online sites like Target.com, Walmart.com. The third thing that we've noticed is that a majority of these pricing alerts and price gouging or fair pricing violations stem from single sticker UPCs, mm. which is basically just a one pack of that product with the manufacturer barcode. When the manufacturer barcode is connected to the ASIN, it makes it easier for Amazon's algorithm to pick up any pricing discrepancies. Absolutely, so an example of a price that would be 10% higher would be, let's say a product's listed at $20, then a good listed price that we would list the product at is $21.99. Mm -hmm. It's 1.1 times the average listed price over those 180 days. Mm -hmm. We're comfortable doing that, and right now we have over 1,500 SKUs, and we're still operating our business successfully. Absolutely, I mean, in the past 90 days, our business has doubled and we've had to scale our operations and our processes, but have been able to implement these same techniques to ensure that we don't get suspended off of Amazon and to really make sure that the customer is satisfied because we want them coming back over and over again to Amazon Lit and purchasing from us. Yeah, so there's a lot of downfalls to charging exorbitantly high prices one of which is the end consumer gets robbed. And we're not in the business of taking from the end consumer. We wanna help the end consumer and assist the end consumer in purchasing the products that they're looking for. You know, an another downfall is what it could do to your business, especially if you're a novice Amazon seller, what the Amazon's looking at is they're looking at the percentage of violations you have. So if you only have a certain amount of sales, a certain amount of products that you've sold over a time period, and one violation could take you over that percentage limit and get you suspended within 72 hours of notification. All right, so now let's say you do get a pricing alert. What's next? First of all, don't freak out. There's ways to address this. So basically, first thing you're gonna do is what we just talked about. You're gonna to wanna to look at that 180 day pricing based off of the Keeper charts. You're gonna to wanna to check sites like Target.com, Walmart.com, really just grab the UPC and Google it. You'll find some reputable stores, you'll see what price they're selling it at, and if you're selling a one pack, then you need to be listed at that price or equivalent. If you're selling a two, three, or four pack, then you would just multiply that regular single pack by the pack size it is, and that would be your listing price. And if you're using a repricer, it's important to change these prices on Amazon Seller Central, and then make sure your price is reflected in your repricer. So when I'm talking about changing your prices on Amazon Seller Central, there's a min and max price in your Manage Inventory tab. It's important to set that minimum and maximum price that is friendly to the consumer and at a price point that Amazon won't re-deactivate your listing. And for some of you, you might not have that min max, so you'll go to your managed inventory, you'll be like, wait, what are they talking about? In the top right corner, you'll see your preference columns. Make sure you click that button and then scroll through there and you'll see the input box field for minimum price, maximum price. Click those, save, and then those columns will populate for you in managed inventory. 
And whatever you set that minimum and maximum price to, you have to duplicate that and replicate that in your repricer. Or when the listing goes live again and it gets active, your repricer will change its price back to its original price. And then Amazon will suspend the listing again. You'll get another pricing alert and you're just one step closer to getting suspended. Exactly. So how do you know the difference between a pricing alert and actually having a listing violation? Well, if you didn't receive an email or haven't checked your emails, if next to the product, all the way to the left, you have inactive blocked and it's a yellow circle, well, then that means it's a pricing alert and you could fix it yourself. If it's a red circle, then that listing's been blocked and you're going to have to contact Amazon to appeal that ASIN. So what's most important is that you address these pricing alerts, you address any suspended listings for price gouging, you submit your plan of action in the allotted time, and you take action. You have to be proactive instead of reactive. It is the key to growing a successful Amazon business. Yeah, so some of the things you should be doing on a daily basis is in the top left, if you see a red flag, that's your performance notifications. Make sure to open that up and see what Amazon's sending you. Another thing that you're gonna wanna do is you wanna go to your account health and see if you have any violations or any customer complaints, any dissatisfactions. That metrics right there is so important and viable to keeping your account from being suspended. You also wanna be looking at your entire inventory frequently. At minimum once a week, if you can do it more, that is even better. We review every single listing that we sell on and make sure that our prices are not way too high where we are going to receive pricing alerts on those listings. And now listen, for some of you, you might not be price gouging and you have a pricing alert. Amazon is far from perfect. They have hundreds of millions of ASINs. So what we've done for those listings is we've contacted seller support, but for the time being, we close those listings. By closing a listing, it doesn't delete it. It doesn't remove your inventory from Amazon. All it does is it pauses you from selling that listing until you could fix the issue. We wanna prevent ourselves from being suspended or from even having any sort of ding on our account. So we close that listing until we can address it because we know that, hey, our price is actually fairer than the rest of the online marketplaces out there. And don't be scared to sell a product at a loss. You don't want to continue to compete at a higher price to try to get some money back out of that listing that Amazon gave you a pricing alert for. If they're telling you it's priced too high, then it's priced too high. Just drop the price, take the loss, and buy more profitable inventory. Don't fall in love with the product. You know, it's happened to us, especially for some of the listings that we picked up during this season, which didn't have a Keeper chart. You know, Keeper isn't on every single listing. Predominantly, it's not on ones that Amazon has previously sold on or only sold on, but we took our chances with that because part of running a business is taking risk. So we picked those up and only to find out we were incorrect. We had to pull them back or sell some of those products at a loss, but it's okay because the majority of our business continues to grow. And that's because we don't harp on that one ASIN mm. or that one product. We move on, keep it going. All right, that's a rickety wrap. We could be here all day talking about price gouging. We could be here until 12 o'clock at night. And it's only six in the morning right <laughs> six now. Six in the morning. So that's a long video. Yeah. You know, yeah. but if you got any questions, leave them in the comments below. And if you're not following us on Instagram, check us out, make sure to follow us, Amazon Lit. Make sure to join our Facebook group. There's tons of information mm -hmm. there. And guys, be prepared because the Resellers Resource Initiative is dropping this month. And it's literally 15 years almost of experience of growing a business from a basement to 40 employees now, doing three and a half million a month and continuing to scale and grow. So Resellers are all right, check it out, stay with. Good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but no, we're gonna redo it. We're gonna redo it. We're gonna wrap up the whole end. Only because you said guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about the chicks, bro? And it's just another day. <laughs> All put into one pot and sprinkled around to you. <laughs> Let's wrap this up. <laughs>